Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's do part two of the same problem that we did before in the previous video. We had x-rays starting with five picometers being scattered by electrons. And in this case, we're going to look at electrons uh, scattering the photons at an angle of 180 degrees. In other words, the x-rays hit the electrons and get sent back in the opposite direction because that would cause a maximum delivery of energy to the electrons and the question now is, what is the maximum energy imparted on those electrons when that scattering angle is 180 degrees? Remember, in the previous video, we already answered this question right here. So let's first find the energy of the incoming photons. So the energy, initially, of the incoming photons is equal to h times the frequency of the photons, and since we know that the speed of light is equal to the frequency times the wavelength, we can then say that the frequency can be written as lambda over c, or we can say that the original energy is equal to hc over lambda. I like that better because we were given the wavelength, not the frequency of the electrons. So plugging in what we know, that would be equal to Planck's constant, times the speed of light, and divided by the wavelength, 5 picometers, which is 5 times 10 to the minus 12 meters. And that will give us the energy in joules. The energy would be 3.98 times 10 to the minus 14 joules. Now, typically, we like to talk about the energy of photons in terms of Electron volts, so let's convert that. And we have electron volts at the top, joules at the bottom, one electron volt, 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. So if we divide that by 1.602 E19 minus equals, we have about 248 kilo electron volts. Now that's quite energetic. That is about almost half the rest mass of an electron. Now let's find out what the scatter, with the scattering angle, what the change in the wavelength would be. So we could say that lambda prime minus lambda, the change in the wavelength, is equal to h over m sub naught c times 1 minus the cosine of 180 degrees. Now from previous calculations, we know that this quantity right here is equal to 2.42 times 10 to the minus 12 meters, about 2.42 picometers, and then we multiply this times 2, because 1 minus the cosine of 180 degrees, that's equal to 2, so times 2. That would be 4.84 times 10 to the minus 12 meters. So that's the change in the wavelength which means that lambda prime is going to be equal to this plus that, so add another 5 picometers, that would be 5 picometers plus 4.84 picometers, or a wavelength of 9.84 picometers. Of course, that's 9.84 times 10 to the minus 12, oops, that's 12 meters. All right, now that we have the wavelength of the scattered photons, let's go ahead and find the energy. So energy prime means after the scattering, that is going to be equal to h c over lambda prime, which is equal to 6.6 minus 34 joules times seconds, still the speed of light, and divided by the new wavelength of the scattered photons, 9.84 times 10 to the minus 12 meters. 6.626 e34 minus times 3 e to the 8 divided by 9.84 e to the 12 minus equals, and that would be equal to 2.02 .02 times 10 to the minus 14 joules. Again, converting that to electron volts. So divide by 1.602 e to the 19 minus, and we have about 126 kilo electron volts. So what this means 
is that the incoming photons, before they were scattered, had energies of 248 kilovolts, and the scattered photons had energies of 126 kilo, I should say, kilo electron volts. And what happened to the difference? Well, the difference was imparted on the electrons. The electrons came away with the difference of this. So let's see here, do we have enough? So the change in the energy is equal to energy initial minus energy final, which is equal to 248 kilo electron volts minus 126 kilo electron volts, which is equal to 122 kilo electron volts. That was the energy loss of the photons. That would then be the energy gain of the electrons which were hit by those photons. And that's how we calculate that.